Explore Design File Settings. A MicroStation Design File contains a variety of settings governing its operation. The initial settings are derived from the seed file that is chosen when a new file is created, but may need to be adapted for use within specific design parameters. In this lesson, the settings within the proposed site plan will be altered to meet the design requirements of the site development project. While working through the lessons in this course, you will learn, review working units, adjust angle readout, review geographic coordinate system data, save design file settings. Continuing in the design file, proposed site plan .dgn, observe the title bar of the MicroStation application window. The title bar states that the file is 2D. This is but one example of a setting that was determined by the seed file chosen when the proposed site plan DGN file was created. Some settings are more rigid and may not be changed, such as 2D versus 3D, while others are easily altered to match the design requirements of the user when working on a project. An example of this is working units. The working units of the active design may be set as desired. This is to enable precise creation of the project geometry in the easiest possible manner. Take note that while it is a best practice to make any required settings changes when the file is created, most design file settings can be set at any time without adversely affecting the content of the design. Along the ribbon from the placement ribbon group, pick place smart line. Bringing your cursor now into the view, place a data point or a left click to begin placing a line. Observe the coordinate readout in AccuDraw. AccuDraw is a precision drawing tool that works in conjunction with element placement commands to help ensure the accurate placement of geometry. As shown here, AccuDraw is in the rectangular coordinate readout mode. This is shown by the square compass and the coordinate readout showing X and Y values. Go ahead now and press M on your keyboard to issue the AccuDraw mode shortcut. The mode shortcut acts as a toggle, changing AccuDraw from a rectangular to polar coordinate readout. This is indicated by the compass changing from a square to a circle. It is important that the AccuDraw dialog has the input focus when a shortcut is invoked or the shortcut will not work. Again, observe the coordinate readout in AccuDraw. The first field represents distance, while the second field displays angle. The colon in the distance is the delimiter between the major and minor units of measurement, referred to as master units and subunits. In the readout, Master and subunits are both illustrated, with accuracy set to two decimal places on the subunit. But we have no way to know what units of measurement are represented. In the angle field, we can see that the angle values are being read out in a counterclockwise direction, in decimal degrees to four decimal places. These units are settings of the design file and were inherited from the seed file used to create the proposed site plan DGN file. Next, we wish to review and, as needed, set the readout for these values to match our needs. Take note that AccuDraw will be discussed in greater detail in future exercises. Along the ribbon, pick File to open the Backstage view. From the Backstage view, pick Settings, File, Design File Settings. The Design File Settings dialog is opened. From here, pick the Working Units category. This category displays linear units. Observe that the format is set as MU colon SU. This displays both the master unit and the subunit values, with these being set to US Survey Feet and US Survey Inches. US Survey Inches are displayed with an accuracy to two 
decimal places. The labels do not affect measurement, but may be used when labeling and dimensioning. So now, we wish to have distances displayed only in U.S. survey feet, to the nearest hundredth of a foot, and angular values in degrees, minutes, and seconds. So from here, in the linear units, change the format to MU. This will cause coordinate readout information to display only in master units. Next, pick the category Angle Readout and set the following. From the Format drop-down, select Degrees, Minutes, and Seconds. For the Accuracy, 0. And then, for the Direction Mode, select Bearing. When finished, click OK. From the upper left corner of the Backstage view, click the arrow to return to the Design Canvas. The setting changes that were made take effect immediately, but are temporary. To permanently store the changes, the settings must be saved. From the Quick Access Toolbar, pick Save Settings. The message, Settings Saved, will appear in the lower left corner of the MicroStation application window. Take note that in most cases, it is a best practice to save settings when they are changed rather than waiting until the end of the design session. This allows you to save just the desired settings. By waiting until the end of the design session, it is possible that settings may get saved that you do not want to permanently change. Again, let's go ahead and pick the Place Smart Line tool. And anywhere in the view, place a data point to begin placing a line, observing the coordinate readout in AccuDraw. In AccuDraw, this time the distance field displays the master units only with an accuracy of two decimal places and the angle readout shows a bearing. Continuing on, we have one more setting that we wish to verify, the geographic coordinate system. Along the ribbon, from the Utilities tab, in the Geographic Ribbon group, pick Coordinate System. This will open the Geographic Coordinate System dialog. Geocoordination lets you specify or view the position of your design content on the Earth's surface. When a geographic coordinate system is assigned, a design can be coordinated with other data for which the geographic location is known, such as shape files, aerial photography, and more. Geocoordination does not apply to design content with no fixed Earth location. A geographic coordinate system can be applied to design files that contain structural scale data and earth scale data. Structural scale data. When designing buildings, industrial plants, and other structures, the curvature of the earth doesn't need to be considered. Most designers then prefer to work in a local coordinate system that is convenient for their building or plant. Earth scale data. With mapping, surveying, and when designing larger scale infrastructure projects such as roadways, a geographic coordinate system is used to supply a Cartesian approximation to the Earth's surface that gives acceptable results in the vicinity of the design content. Different geographic coordinate systems are developed for specific locations on the Earth. Take note, for more information on geographic coordinate systems, see the help topic geographic coordinate systems. Go ahead now and take a moment to review the GCS in the active design. The coordinate system in the active model is EPSG 2236. This is a Florida State Plains coordinate system applicable to the location of our proposed site design located in Putnam County, Florida. You may now close the geographic coordinate system dialog. In this lesson, you learned how to view and adjust a variety of design file settings and where the initial settings are derived from. This includes working units, angle readout, geographic coordinate system data, and also how to save design file settings. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.